Did you ever wonder how agile your team or organization is? Is that even something you can measure? You can, and in this video, I will show you how. But remember, we measure to have a dialogue and improve, not to achieve a specific low thought benchmark. The measurement is done through a self-assessment. Yes, you have to do it yourself. Unless you prefer having a bunch of consultants running around and asking a ton of questions. You can do the assessment alone, but I believe that the power in this exercise lies in doing it as a team exercise. So that is what I will show. To prepare, you need a set of questions to ask your team. There are many different ones to choose from, but I like the ones that originate from the Agile Manifesto and the Agile Principles. I wrote a set of questions in the video description that you can use, and I will use a few of them as an example in the following. Gather your team, offline or online, and explain the background and the purpose of the exercise. Then simply ask them the first question. The team will answer the question with a number from 0 to 5, where 0 is never and 5 is always. Give the team a moment to think about their answer and then let them answer simultaneously. It is important that the team answers simultaneously, as team members may be influenced by each other's answers. If you are offline, you can use the good old scorecards, and if you are online, you can ask everyone to send their score to you in the chat message. When everyone has scored, use whatever high-tech calculator you have at your disposal and calculate the team average. With the team average score for the question revealed, it is time to have a discussion about why the team scored as they did. It is okay to spend some time on this discussion, as it may reveal a lot about your team's strength and potential improvement areas. Before moving on, plot the score on a spider chart. Then repeat for the remaining questions. In the end, you will have an average score and a flashy spider chart for all 12 questions, illustrating the result of your team and thus how agile your team is. To conclude the exercise, decide on what area you would like to improve and brainstorm a couple of suggestions. As always, it is important to leave the session with a plan for improvement Otherwise, you will just be stuck with a number and a confusing web of agile questions.